Yo, what's going on guys? Hello, Torch here today, and um, today's video is going to be on my build, my Gale Rapier build pretty much. A lot of mobs in this game don't take really like lots of air damage, so I did go air. That's why I went air. I went Duelist Handle for true damage as well, and it gives me the little Gale Burst. I do magic damage, so I do air damage, magic damage, and true damage all in one of my finisher. Keep in mind, this build is true damage. It won't be DPS heavy because true damage in general is not DPS heavy to begin with. It's more like a support DPS. It's a nice safe option to do in a lot of dungeons because it doesn't matter what resistances mobs have, you will always be doing that damage. Let me just show you guys right here. For blades, I'm running the wind iron blade right here. The wind I refined wind iron needle. So this wind iron needle right here, it also gives me Gale Burst, Hellwind. Now keep in mind, these are very important here, Gale Burst and Tailwind, because these apply to your finisher as well as up your attack speed for this build. Now, on the handle side of things, we have the Duelist Handle. What the Duelist Handle gives you is Piercer and Duelist Stance. What Duelist Stance is, is it alters your finishers, right? Your finisher changes to be a multi finisher, and you get this stat bonus called Piercer. Now what Piercer does is it turns your finisher into true damage. So that means your right click and your last couple of months, right? The goal of this build is to attack super fast and do true damage, right? All while having pretty high deck scaling so you can be able to crit time to time. Now before this build used to be really fucking strong because decks had like insane crit scaling, right? Now it's a little more tame. You do consistent damage though, regardless, no matter what. But yeah, this is my build and this is what I'm running here. Now, the move that I would recommend to use here is Gill Assault so you can apply Tailwind reliably. We're going to hold it over here real quick. So, the this is my armor set. We're running the Dex Helm Gunslinger hat. We're running a uh, revved chestplate Dexterdis. Dexterdis rev leggings. Dexterdis combat roll rune. And a blaster ring. Now, why a blaster ring? Because it gives you a change. It changes your right click, right? Now, the rapier right click is a little slower with this build. So you want to end up taking a blaster ring so you have a safer option to use and you can spam the fuck out of it too. Now, if you do want to change it up a little bit, the only reason why I have this is so it reduces my my cooldown on a uh, roll, quick draw, reduces weapon art cooldown, or not my roll, my uh, gill assault, really good. You could swap this out for a rev helm to get more DPS as you'll be attacking way much faster. Now, for infusements, you just want to infuse two rev pieces and you have two options here. You can either infuse wind champion helm which is not bad it gives you longer tailwind and while you're under tailwind you get a crit multiplier or you can run runic wind now runic wind does is that when you use your rune you get tailwind so you can either sustain your tailwind or you can make your tailwind be more damage oriented so you have two choices there that's what i would do for infusement now let's show you guys the damage uh Pretty much, I can just test on a dummy because this damage is air damage, magic damage, and true damage. Not many mobs have these types of resistances and the ones that do. Actually, you know what? Let's fight this Iron Slayer right here so I can show you. Oh, I got hit. All right, but yeah, you can pretty much auto him and just walk back. Just spam auto. Not well, this person's obviously fighting him, so... Yeah, for the most part, right there, activate Tailwind. Just walk back, full auto. It's free, so free. Like, it literally... It's so free, like, you don't even have to think, you don't have to worry about anything, it's super safe. Because all you have to do is hold S, right-click spam while Tailwind is active. Now, if you do want, you could run the extra, the extra Rev Helm, it'll make it 10 times better, more safer, more DPS. Or you can opt out for, you know, just nice base damage, it's really up to you. Now, let's show you guys the DPS on this, so, without my Tailwind active, I do... Let's see, I've seen it peak up to like 100 DPS, 100 plus, 125. Yeah, you can peak up to 125, 128, 130. That That's like the highest DPS without Tailwind active with this specific set. You can definitely optimize this a ton. I've run this set because I'm poor right now. No one wants to trade a Rev Helm. I've been begging. You can see me in the trade channels. But yeah, 135, 138, 140, 140 even. That's insane. If you activate Tailwind, you're going to see your DPS skyrocket, right? It just jumps up a crap ton. Yeah, 150, 164. 157, 155, right? That's insane. That's really good. That's really fucking good. It's because you're doing the little gill burst. That does magic damage, as you can see. Or air damage, as I say. And it can also crit as well, which is really nice. Now, time for the right click. As you can see, the right click is a gun. It's really good. Yes, I'm using the right set. But yeah, the right click is a gun. Really good stuff. It shoots an arrow. And as well, um, you know, it does the gun blast your right click. Now, if you activate Tailwind and you do this... You can just spam right click all day, bro. All day, you can just spam right click. You can peak up to 100 DPS. 
with just the right click alone, which is true damage. 100 DPS, true damage, true damage, air damage. That is insane. That's really fucking good. Without tail when active, you can do this amount of damage right here. It's pretty good as well. It's 60, 50. It's something reliable, 90. The more you right click spam, the better. You could set up a macro to make this more consistent. But yeah, you can hit 100 DPS pretty much with just regular right clicks alone. It's not bad at all. And it's true damage. So 100 DPS, true damage, which means no mobs that have type of resistances can do, you know, they can't resist your damage. So all the damage you're doing will hurt the mob. Now, this is good for dungeons as like a support DPS build, or you can use it as a main DPS build. It's really up to you. You just have to change out some gear sets from time to time. Now, this build has no guild, so you can do this without a guild. It doesn't matter what you guild you use, because this pretty much can go with any guild. You just have to change out some parts from there and there. The only one I don't recommend is probably the Cursed Guild or Hex Guild or whatever it's called. Um, thief wouldn't be too bad of an option if you wanted to go Thief. Personally, I don't like Thief, so I'm not going Thief. Um, Knight wouldn't be that much of an option either because, uh, like, you can go extra tanky if you want to. It's really up to you. You can be a tanky DPS. It's, you know, it's up to you. Um, Mage wouldn't bad, be bad of an option because you get Caster, which just reduces your rune cooldown. So you could run Runic Win, and it'll be really good. Really up to you. Again, it doesn't matter what guild you use. It's up to you. But yeah, that's pretty much my build. Um, Gale Burst, Air Boost, uh, you know, very low. Speed Boost, pretty high. Warding, pretty good. Jump boost, pretty nice. Speed boost is very important for this because you are rocking 0.4 engine. You can run 0.5 or 0.6 engine. It's really up to you. It's all preference here because, you know, it's just, you know, this build is just all around just well. I don't see it getting nerfed because it's just too gimmicky in a way. It's not insane DPS. It's not bad DPS. It's just, you know, it's good DPS. It's reliable. It's safe. You can do a lot with it. In dungeons, I've been called to, you know, just hang around, take on the tankier mobs, because since I do true damage, I burst them down pretty quickly. Now, I don't burst them down as fast as people that, you know, obviously min-max their damage in a specific category. That may not be true. I recommend this build for anyone that just kind of wants to make, like, a support DPS build, pretty much. It's really good. It's not bad at all. It's super safe, reliable. You can get done a lot of the content in the game with this build. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. This build's really nice. Uh, I've been enjoying it so far, and be sure to look out for my other builds, because those are also pretty insane, I'd say so myself. Yeah, peace out, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this Voxable video, and have a nice one.